Pink Pink Crusaders. Crusaders. Welcome to your last ever episode before winter break. (laughs) My name is Sophie. And my name is Paul. And you're watching HC HC News. News. Before we get to the announcements, we'd like to remind you that this Sunday was the third Sunday of Advent and Christmas is in two weeks. Last week on Friday, December 11th, we had, a, we had Christmas music night. Thank you to those that tuned in. If you'd like to go back and watch the stream, check out youtube.com slash holycrossmusic. Keep an eye out for the photos on photos.mycrusader.net. Of course, we'd like to thank Mr. Caprada, Mr. Sensei, and the, mu- the music student leadership team, and the wonderful performers for making it all happen despite the difficult times of COVID-19. We'd also like to give a huge thank you to those who organized and contributed to the Christmas hamper donations. Your generosity means a lot to the families in need. This Christmas season, let's continue to support our family and show God's endless love and mercy. Christmas is the season of giving, after all. Speaking of giving, Mark Frasick of the class from 2020 is holding a fundraiser called Giving Hands in partnership of, with Sister Hedgen of the, of the Salesian Sisters. And they are selling Christmas ornaments for $7. The proceeds will go towards care packages that will be distributed to the poor. This fundraiser is running now until the 20th. As well, email Sister Hagen for socially distant sales here at HC. Check out students.microsader.net for more details. Also, if you bought candy grams last week, they will be delivered to you this Thursday and Friday. This week, good luck to everyone on their final tests or projects, especially to the grade 12s. Speaking of the seniors, don't forget that your grad write-up, quote, and baby picture deadline is Monday 14th, and get that in ASAP if you haven't done so already. Also, the deadline to order your Holy Cross Spirit Wear 2020 is Thursday, December 31st. Check out the student website for the link. On Wednesday the 15th, it will be the Swinter Spirit Day for the Alpha Cohort and Thursday the 17th for the Omegas and the Grade 8s. On Thursday, it will also be a Mass Day for the Omegas. Make sure to be reverent. Here's the Mass Day schedule. On Friday, it will be a Uniform Day and a Flex Day. And here's the Flex Day schedule. Friday is also the last day before winter break. Yay! Remember, this is the last week until winter break. We'll be back on Monday, January 4th, which will be an Omega Day. And blocks will change to BCDA. Here are your birthdays for this week. Happy 13th. <laughs> Happy 13th birthday to Caleb. Happy 15th birthday to Christelle. Happy 17th birthday to Caleb. Happy 17th birthday to Ryson. Happy 17th birthday to Liam. Happy 17th birthday to Abby. Happy 17th birthday to Ina. And happy 17th birthday to Sasha. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Wilnick for the birth of their second child. Make sure to relax, spend time with your family, stay safe, and make sure to wear a mask whenever you go out. And now, a message from Mr. Blush. Hello, Crusaders. Well, I finally get to be on the news. Mr. Cabralda and the web team have been afraid of my talent, afraid I might steal the show. So I'm glad to be here. We're about to wrap up probably the strangest first half of a school year I've ever been a part of, and certainly probably you guys as well. But I wanna thank you once again. Uh, Your hard work, following the protocols, for the most part. Stairwells could use some work. But I really wanna thank you for your positive attitudes because the teachers have found it tough as well because not all the normal things are going on. I found it really hard and when I walk in and talk to some of you guys, the attitude is so great that it helps uplift me and make me feel better about how the year is going. So thank you for that and hopefully we can continue to get through this year together. I'll continue to pray for your health and health of your families. I really want you to have a great holiday and enjoy the weeks off and hopefully we can come back to a little better year. All that said, Once again, Merry Christmas, and here's to a better 2021. On On behalf behalf of the Holy Holy Cross Cross web team, team, we we wish you a Merry Merry Christmas Christmas and a Happy New New Year. Year. Make sure to follow HC Student Leadership, Crusader Connect, Athletics underscore HC, and Crusader Music. Don't click away yet and tune into Morning Prayer. That's all for now. Bye, Bye, Holy Cross. Cross! Let us lead ourselves in the presence of our Lord, as you say, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with the child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took Mary as his wife, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us bring our intentions before our Heavenly Father. For all students and staff in our Holy Cross community, that we may strive to make the best of this school year and overcome every obstacle that we will face, and that the Lord will keep us safe and healthy in the midst of the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope's monthly intention, that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and a life of prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us conclude our morning prayer by praying the Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.